shot. Even okay. now when I watch the film, my mind would say shot. There were two guys in front. All they did was, the two of them, they looked at each other and they went, ha, 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 and they picked up the pistol and they just kept eating. And I told them, stop it. You know, and again, Asaf said, he said, they're hungry, it doesn't matter. So, this was, and this was all post the biggest failure he had ever had. That was Mirnam Joker. Mirnam Joker was devastating. It's, apart from his effort, his dream, financially, the amount of money he lost in Mirnam Joker would have really crashed anybody else. So, but a film had to be made. And uh, immediately after his uh, which, which I believe is the one of the uh, biggest cash cows of the yeah, company currently. Today, Menon Joker, Joker is an all-time hit after so many years. Yes, after so many years, Menon Joker is a huge hit. It's the biggest cash cow, like you said. Okay. In fact, uh, financial situation was really bad, and uh, on his birthday, he used to have a great party every year, and his wife said, "Let's not have a party this year." So he said, why? He said, you know, film not done well. And they had mortgaged everything to raise money. And then he came up with this. He said, okay, I've decided to make a film. I'm making a love story with a new boy and a new girl. And he called his unit. And he narrated the story to them. And that's why he said, I'm taking Chintu as the male and I'm going to find a girl in take. So our accountant, whose father's Lumi he had pulled up, he was our accountant. And he said, he said, what are you doing? You've lost so much money. You now you want to make a new boy, new girl. Every actor in the industry is coming to meet you. They were every single actor was coming to meet him. Take me in your next film, take. So he said, why don't you make this film with Dharminder and Hemamani? He said, I, you want me to make a love story with a teenage love story with Dhanandan I mean, they, you're, you're crazy. I will make this film with a new boy and a new girl only. And that's when he started, Bobby. But while he made the film, nowhere did we feel that there was any kind of cutting corners. He shot the film like he shot every other film. And uh, that's what he believed in. And that, I think, paid off in the film for me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it will be a never-ending story, you know, uncovering Raj Kapoor uh, to, you know, from, from the horse and horses uh, mouth that we have. And, uh, you know, the anecdotes that you have with him. And here too, Kabi, you know, it's like opening a Pandora box. It's not going to yes. over, you know. Uh, but again, we have a good chance to read the book because the book is here with us. And hopefully, I think everyone will buy a copy of your own. And maybe once we go through the book, we'll learn more about the stories, those anecdotal stories that, you know, Sir is here with uh, the great legend, uh, Ras Kapoor. And we will know more about the story of the book in this book. And I hope everyone buy a copy of Round. It's available in Amazon. Uh, uh, please grab a copy, <laughs> right? Okay, so uh, let's move on to uh, the understanding as uh, you know the, the purpose of this particular uh, you know dialogue is to understand films and uh, the moving images that we call it as as a markers of history. So I will try to start with Rahul Rebel sir, uh, uh, trying to understand how he started uh, in his time period, how movies were made. And, and let's try to look one by one, and then I'll move through all Metro, so uh, to a, a little uh, younger generation. And uh, so we'll look at the, some aspect of the uh, aspect of filmmaking. So, sir, we'll start with how you know how do you start uh, treating a movie in terms of the story? Just say, in the 70s, 80s, 
मूवीज बनते थे जैसे हम बोल रहे थे यू नो एंग्री यंग मैन की बात करें अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की बात करें यू नो लेट द लव रोमांस विद देयर बट इंडियन इंडियन पीपल लव यू नो कॉमेडी है होना चाहिए कॉमेडी भी होना चाहिए रोमांस भी होना चाहिए पर अगेन वो थीम तो रहते हैं पर अगेन इट्स ग्रेजुअल चेंजेस बट उस टाइम पे जब आपके पास जब स्टोरी आते हैं तो आप उसको कैसे देखते हैं और इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू लुक इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉमर्स ऑल्सो एट द एंड तो उसमें आप लोग यू नो दैट्स शेयर सम ऑफ द यू नो थिंग्स दैट यू हैव इन योर मीटिंग्स एंड ऑल sir uh, uh, when you spoke about uh, you know having the violence and all this and you have a little bit of romance right. in films uh, the first films i made were both romantic films yeah, story. they were uh, beta and love story so uh, then i made a film called arjun right uh, arjun was is called an action film but believe me the number of action scenes in arjun are only three there's only three action scenes it was more of a angry character and uh, you know again having learned from ratsa that you like a story if your heart says make it make it but don't try and save expenses in that film because you thought of something which has a certain expense involved don't try and save that money you will spoil the film and don't shift because of the reason given to you like in love story people said uh, the songs are you know hardly there except in one song mama ya ke ro ke ro ke ro mama which have become very popular in fact if i had my way i would have removed all the songs from the okay that's accepting mama here i don't reduce i said let's remove them all you see doing nothing good so that's what i felt the bill should have been so films have taken this uh, uh, their own way which have uh, come down i uh, i i uh, i'm sorry to say this but uh, uh, like ratsab said he said one day it will happen and it is happening now right he said uh, because uh, things are started changing while he was there he said one day people will stop making films they will start assembling them and that that what is happening you know we are not shooting scripts anymore we are shooting numbers you know we are only concerned with numbers which i think there are there are some directors who are very uh, conscious about their work they make very good films but that's very few compared to the number of films that should be made sir do you want to add uh, regarding your experience yeah i it was i, I uh, we are from two different yeah. generations yeah, that's uh, that's actually what you want to say is a younger one and i me i'm a dinosaur so <laughs> you know, there is a difference in uh, these two things so i think a point of view of rahul would be much much better rahul better sir yeah your your take on that well dinosaurs are living as crocodiles these days so <laughs> well um i think see it's it's important uh, cin- cinema is not what what you see is is what you make others see in that cinema because it's a uh, it it happens here and you know how a person feels i think it's the beauty of the human mind and yeah. and what it can imagine i for instance i i was i was i started off as a journalist uh, so mass communications has been quite been my my field uh, before i became a filmmaker but uh, when i turned towards filmmaking at that time i'm i'm talking about about 13 14 years back i have not been around too long but fortunately i have ended up doing a uh, lot of work in this last decade or so very uh, lucky and uh, with a lot of gratitude but anyway so what was happening at that time there were a lot of films essentially being made for the nri audience that is what i was watching at that time shahrukh khan was the superstar and a lot of songs and you know foreign locations and so i have no problem with that but i wanted to see some heartland stories some small town stories because i i was a small town guy 
and so I was very sure that if I make a if I make films or if I make a film in my own way, I wanted to change the narrative a little. And I'm very um, again I'm very lucky that uh, in fact I was very surprised to read my Wikipedia page recently, which says that uh, it's with me right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, again I'm saying with a lot of gratitude, which says that Raul Mitras uh, was. Uh, you know, part of the journey of changing the narrative of cinema of last decade or so. That's so right. I think that's, so what I'm saying is that uh, Sai Be Your Gangster, that was the first film I made. I don't know how many of you, if you have seen it or not the first film. But um, how it began in itself is is quite surprising because generally what happens is that you, you know, you uh, a director goes to a producer and then a film is pitched and then story and all of that. Like Manchu Dhuli and I, we were sitting, we had just become friends and we were sitting at the press club in Delhi. Mm -hmm. And I was doing very well as a as a branding guy and doing my events and everything. <laughs> and we started talking about, again, the kind of films being made and, you know. Uh, and so, all of that at that time. And suddenly we started talking about Sahi, Bivi or Gula. And coming back to the, again, the topic of today, how society reflects cinema. We both started talking about that. Today, if Sahib was there, you know, Bibi was there, then how was it? Or was there? The moment he said Gula, I said Gula is a gangster. Right. So we were sitting at the press club, and Sahib Bibi was a gangster. So first, he was tied up. Then, Big Machu tells me, "Sir, Rahul, do our man meet." Okay. So I called up my brother who is a senior IS officer now, he's a national chief secretary in Gujarat, and I called him and I said, Why sir, I'm a film manager. He said, What? What do you mean? I said, You know, UP Centric, he was a cyber gangster. He thought my brother's gone crazy. So what I'm saying is that in the morning, I didn't forget what happened last night. The next three, four, five days later, I called up the manager and I said, Let's go. He says, where? I said, let's go and scout for locations. So there is this beautiful place in Devgad Bariya in Gujarat, which is on the Madhya Pradesh border. And I thought, and filmmaking, by the way, is, as you all know, is, is about cheating. You know, you cheat location and you cheat everything. So we thought, let's cheat Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat. Where my brother was, I thought I'll get help in location and all of that. So we went in a train to Devgad Bariya of Baroda, and there we saw the location. हवेली देखी वहाँ पे और वहाँ बैठ के लिखावट हुई और वो लिखने के बाद literally I was playing table tennis with Jimmy Sherkin and Nandi Kuda and दिमाग में ये gangster है ये सो उल्टा हुआ सारा कुछ और प्रक्रिया होती है एक फिल्म की which is title title के बाद location location के बाद कहानी कहानी के बाद casting तो so which means that मैं like Rahul ji अभी said कि हर फिल्म की एक एक जर्नी होती है और वो अगर होना होता तो अपने आप हो जाता है। But one has to be passionate and I'm very happy and proud of the fact that we finished the movie in 28 days. I would I would run, go, make some money, come back with this. It was the biggest hit of that year. Won all all the all the awards in 2011. And I was incidentally the quickest sequel to go on the floor. Well, I quickly signed with Van Dam. God bless him. His soul, and him as the gangster in Sai Bibi Gangster Returns, and after, right after the release, when I was setting this film, I was already in talks with Saif Ali Khan for Bullet Raj, and while that was happening, I was already with Kangana Ranaut for Revolver. And while that was happening, right after that was Mr. Bachchan for Sarkatri and so and so forth. So I think then that, that's the passion. अगर किसी को मैं तब बोलता कि कहानी क्या है और मैं सुनाता कहानी किसी को किसी एक अवेली है उसमें एक रानी रहती है वो ड्राइवर के साथ भाग गई मुझे पत्थर पड़ते पक्का मारते सो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज दैट इट इट ऑल सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स व्हिच मींस दैट द जर्म ऑफ मार्केटिंग हैज़ टू बी देयर इन द टाइटल नाउ दैट आई एम हाफ क्रिएटिव एंड हाफ कमर्शियल एंड दिस आई वी सी माय से� and create compelling content for the audience. And at the same time, if you can make
make it, uh, you know, a worthwhile proposition. Right. God's been kind, I think I've been in my small way been able to achieve that. So that's been uh, very much been how I look at films. Right. Uh, I'm not content ke baat kar rahe Madab, you know, even in Arunachal also, like uh, when we started, we started making films like uh, Adenge Nodan and if you have Zero Kilometer, then Monker and Capital and a lot of good movies are coming up. Jab uske content ke agar baat kare, through the ages, so we are looking at you know, how it directly influences the society or society is giving you that particular content. So usme, uh, you know, that's, that's how also, you know, like uh, the uh, it becomes a marker of history like 80s media the 90s media tha to usme hum log bhi i mean we are going the right part like uh, a small stake like our natural brother very new in film making so but again uh, uh, we are also looking at the whether the, the society is making you make the content or are we making content so that you know it caters the society uh, i agree with you that uh, uh, society does have its own role to play now with audiences growing up. Right. Uh, song and dance don't make the film. So it's a mark of society. And uh, I honestly hope, and this is a wish from my heart, uh, though I think Rahul Mitra was probably one of the biggest villains in my life because he wanted me to travel in a helicopter to come to Itanagar. And I said, I'm not coming in a helicopter to eat another. <laughs> and he said, no, you are coming. So yesterday's flight of one hour was, was <laughs> the worst part of the flight I've ever seen. You know, right? All the chopper shots you were telling earlier, and all the chopper shots. I never went up in a chopper. So I'm happy and proud that I got him on the chopper. Yeah, and what would you do me, And every time that chopper flew for that one hour and 20 minutes, and uh, the lady there said, uh, sir, that's the Brahmaputra. So I, I kept wondering, do you put that film down in the Brahmaputra? <laughs> but I am so happy that I came. I met a wonderful people. And I will always be grateful to Rahul for bringing me here. And, and I will be wonderful. I think you people are wonderful. I, I think I love your spirit. And one day I also hope that today, you know, it's, it's very historic for the films that a film from Bhutan, now Bhutan to me is a, not a state exactly, but it's a, it's a fact of a state of India. It's a, just an example. So a Bhutanese film has been nominated for the Oscars. So I, I hope to see this day that we have an Arunachal Pradesh film nominated for the Oscars. That's, that's what I think, Often, you know, you should all be looking for. And see, on the record of time, I'll give you a small incident. Uh, there's a film called Arjun, which I made. Right. Now, that luckily turned out to be a path breaker. And, you know, it started a whole new generation. It became a what you call a cult film. And all new ideas start cult film. Now, Arjun was at a time when the educated unemployed was very evident in Indian society. Right? We were trying to make a film. We could not find the right story. Uh, we had recorded a song that was called Mamaya Kero 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 Mama. I know you guys have heard that or not. It's a very popular song. Uh, the producers insisted that song should be whatever film we make. So we had to find a story for a song, which is very strange. But we couldn't find a story. And uh, one night, uh, we were sitting in Khandala, in a hotel in Khandala, we were working there. Uh, we went to sleep around 12 at night. No, around 10 at night. And I got woken up at 4 in the morning by Mr. Javed Akhtar. In this video, we will talk about the application. I have a idea I want you to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it was not an idea. He narrated an entire story to me from the first scene to the last scene. <clears throat> that was Arjun. It was written by him in one night. Actually, 
there must have been about 20% changes made. But it did not have a story. It had a character of the educated unemployed that made the difference. And that worked. So today when you guys think about making a film in the future, or in Madhya Pradesh, you don't have to keep this in mind that there must be a, rom there must be a romantic story. Let it flow itself, even if you have a character somewhere. You know, you must have some interesting character somewhere. And if you, as long as you believe in what you're making, right. and as long as you have the conviction in what you're doing, it will all fall into place. Everything else will turn to This is the only, and I really hope to see, I am a little ashamed that we don't have an Indian film in the top five for the Oscars, and we've got a Bhutani film. But uh, I'd be very happy that uh, we have uh, Arunachal Pradesh film because it would be an Indian film. It would only be coming so from. That's what very much Dasa played. Related iconic characters. Iconic characters. Right. That is all. So it's a, either the character is falling or rising or it's a crime or whatever it is. That's what he did. Yeah. And he followed that in, in all his films. That what, what, what we would normally call. Uh, Social content. When, when you're making a comment on society, that's right. that social content could, could mean anything. Uh, accepting what we were doing for so many years was just a boy and a girl running around trees and dancing, you know, or people just beating the other person up. Uh, but social content otherwise will always go correct. Yeah, uh, Rahul sir, uh, Bitra sir, yeah, yeah, your take on that? Regarding how we, you know, the society is refl reflecting uh, the story or the story is reflecting the society. See, number one, I want to say that we have uh, generally, you know, filmmakers have asked a lot of questions about, uh, you know, that the films, your films are affecting society. I remember I was in Hungary and uh, this was after uh, the uh, horrible rape case that had happened in India. Uh, and the, the following year I was there and uh, one of the top journalists in Hungary just got up and just started blasting me, you know. And I was I was on stage, me and Imtiaz Ali, uh, we were there for the Hungary uh, festival and I said, uh, uh, he's saying no, that this has happened. So, so he was trying to tell me that because of your cinema that happened. So I, uh, I, I immediately said, I said, look, uh, I want to just share, and this has actually happened, this, uh, this incident, and it, it will probably be on YouTube as well somewhere. But anyway, so I said in that press conference that when I came to your beautiful country for the first time this morning, uh, and my baggage didn't come with me, so the airline, and I was flying KLM or British or some good airline, uh, and flying business class and they, they lost my baggage and said that it would take two, three days to come. So I had to come in for the conference so I went to your biggest mall and while I was just walking in, I just asked the person at the entrance that I want a jacket and, the, and he just said, hmm, shut me off. I said, does it mean that that's, what I, that's the impression that you want me to create, uh, to take in my mind of hungry? that you guys are rude. So I got a clapping there and everybody there, which means that, so let no incident or whatever affect. So what, number one I'm trying to say is that, please don't confuse, we are not here to reform society. That's for sure. Right. You know, we are not on some, uh, making a documentary, Sakshirata mission nahi ho rahe hai. Main film banana chahta hoon, mera haq hai banane ke liye. Ab uske andar depend karta individually. Like all the films, if you see most of, uh, in fact, all my films, usna ko zara galiyan nahi milegi. You know, even Sahibi Bhi Gangster is ye nahi ki baam hain ki galiyan dahi jara hai. Uska reason hai. Because I, I, earlier on in my life when I was, when you know, media started covering me, etc. because of my films, I said that I don't need sex or abusive language to sell my films. So that's what Rahul Ji said as well. Content should be good enough for the pull. So anyway, ये तो चलता रहेगा कि फिल्म में सोसाइटी। I'm not talking about your personal life, I'm talking about your business. No, no, yeah. So anyway, so, so what I'm saying is that is that uh, 
cinema, a lot of stuff is in society. That's true. I think the biggest uh, screenplay, can anybody tell me which is the biggest screenplay in the world for instance? And any, any names come from you? Any particular story or screenplay comes to your mind as the biggest story? Come on, any anybody here? Mahabharat, Ramayan, come on guys. <laughs> The Mahabharat is the biggest thing. So, which means that at that time, what was the cinema at that time? So, it's not that the fight in the Mahabharat was the result of violence as a result of cinema. But anyway, what I'm saying is that they, they coexist. You know. Cinema definitely is influenced, I would say, rather by the times. I, I, I told you about how I... Paid my tribute to Sai Bibi Gulam by making Sai Bibi a gangster. We filmed it. We society it. We filmed 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 it. She can bloody well kill him. She can use her body as a weapon. That's, that's the bold uh, woman character that you know, we thought of. लेकिन उस समय वो कैसे थी साईं बीबी और गुलाम में जिस क्राइम सेंग सो दैट वाज़ द सोसाइटी दैट टाइम दिस टाइम माही गिल इन माय फिल्म कैन किल एनीबडी यू नो किल द लवर सो डेफिनेटली वन हैज़ टू कीप पेस विथ सोसाइटी बट नाउ विथ ओटीटी एंड होल लॉट ऑफ कंपटिटिव कंटेंट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्� we have to be careful if we are making boring things, then we will stop the audience in one second. In one second, we will stop the audience. You know, we have mass communication students here, I believe. Yes, sir. So, starting from the first mass communication tool, which was the first mass communication tool, please tell me. First in the world, ever. What was the first mass communication tool? What was the first mass communication tool? Can anybody tell me? Video. Sorry? Come on. Scripts and all. Huh? Scripts and all. Scripts and all. Papers and all. No, no, no. First of all, where was the paper? 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 Huh? Stories. Rocks. Rocks. Cave paintings. Fire. Drums. You know, that was. Then it moved on to, from cave paintings to books. Bible. Mahabharat. Ramayana. And then, Philadelphia News. Newspaper. That formed. A nation. People say that actually because of newspapers, countries, because Mera Mola, Meri Gali, Meri country, nationalism, I. The radio. Radio say kya hua? Awas. Aaj hamare Pradhan Mantri nahi rahe. And everybody started. Ocean. Right. Uske baad, moving images with the TV. TV ke baad sabko laga ki. Then cinema. Uske baad, mobile telephony. Sabka baap. So what happens is that if you remember, while we were all grew up, I mean, maybe you cannot relate, but we can relate that when we were uh, small in our homes and we would go to a kirani, a small grocery shop and we would go to uncle or bhaiya or didi or whoever was behind the counter, uh, can you please give me a soap? It would, it would be his or her choice to give me handover. I always soap. I didn't have a, any control over that. No, no, this is Namat dena, ye dena. Then what happened? Malls came. So what did malls do? You would walk inside the mall with a, uh, you know, uh, with a tro trolley. And aapne uthaya hai maa, nahi nahi nahi, uthaya hai pasand. Nahi to lux to do. Choice aani yaad mein. Control aage yaad mein. That is what OTT is doing. That is what mobile telephony has done. Aap dekh rahe ho, Raul Mitra ki film, nahi pasand nahi aaya. Phantom aap do ke Raul Mitra ko. Agar aapko achhi nahi lagi hai. You will go to somebody else. So the, the end user, the consumer is empowered today and that is what is throwing challenges. My last film is Tor Baz, which is a direct-to-digital Netflix. It was one of the biggest releases of 2020. You should watch it whenever you get a chance. It was with Sanjay Dutt on Suicide Bomber Kids. I shot the film in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, so, <coughs> it came on Netflix and it trended in Portugal, Afghanistan and I was, I was shocked. I mean, that is the, that is the power. Today, uh, there is a festival happening in August in Vietnam 
and they want me to open the festival. I said, Vietnam? What is my connection with Vietnam? He said, no, your film is done well then. So that is the power of cinema. That is the power of content. Uh, and, and that's again the, the, the power and the opportunity that we all have uh, as a filmmaker, you know, the, the kind of reach that we have with the, with the kind of tech. Yeah, with the coming technology. Yeah, I'm going to open up to uh, to the audience. Uh, uh, before before going that, I thought I would just chip in one more question to to both the Rahul, uh, so that we can open up to our audience also. Yeah, connecting to that uh, thing, I would like to understand you know the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the, 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 the time that you have taken you know like making movies in all the times and, and newer days. Like you know, it takes months to make movies, sir. So. Mm -hmm. But now this you know, say you wrap up your movies uh, in 28 days, right? So what is what is the kind of uh, you know uh, the, the technology that have changes in making the movies, and, and how do you experience that? From that, then we'll move to your uh, question and answers. They're lucky that uh, you know they don't have this thing with the actors. That the actors are doing one film at a time. They've stopped being greedy. The actors. They made enough money from advertising, so they don't want to make films anymore. Because I'm also looking at like when I say technology, you know, the kind of uh, machines that are coming in, you know, VFX, SFX, and all this stuff. How that really changes the way the films are, uh, you know, come, coming out. Well, with VFX and all, a whole lot of uh, stuff is possible now. And I think COVID has taught all of us to work from home, isn't it? That's true. Uh, when I had already shot, uh, by the way, 28 days for Cyber Gangster, but two and a half years for Torvas. So it depends. Okay. That's, that's, it's, it's not a rule that you make. I mean, oh, you take yeah. time. So, because the multiple location, this and that. So, technology is definitely is, but like uh, Rahulji said that actors, uh, you know, were, but uh, then I can also say that, but they were, they were, they were more committed to, because they knew, you know, uh, it was probably mechanical, that so it all depends, you know. Uh, I was making Bullet Raja and Saif Ali Khan's honeymoon was on my set. And uh, imagine waking him every day. My assistant used to go and knock up. He was married three days before. He was giving him a call time. 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 Anyway, what I'm saying is that um, when you are doing change or not, but there has always been one thing which is constant that either there is a good film or there is a I'm sure Rahul ji, you will agree to that. That's uh, correct. debatable hai mere time pe aisa hota tha, aisa. When I, I became a filmmaker, to mujhe bhi bahut sari baatein bata jaati jaare. Suno, aisa hota hai. Dekho, you know, actor ko samalna padta hai. Or, and, and I would, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was super confident or whatever, but I worked with all the toughest of the actors. 
Sanjay Dutt, Amitabh Bachchan, Saif Ali Khan, uh, Arjun Rampal, and the list goes on. Manoj Vajpayee, Kangana Ranaut. And I'm happy to tell you that there is no one who has Because there is a rapport, they understand, if, you know, that there is, this is what it is. So I think it also depends on a whole lot of things that what you bring on the table. If you're just going in with folded hands sitting on the floor next to the actor, Sarji, I'm a very big fan, I'm a picture and I want to keep a bag of gold. Obviously, then he'll kick, kick you on your ass, isn't it? So, what, what you need to do is, I think, whatever that you do, whichever department that you, uh, uh, that you do in filmmaking, you should try to be good at that. Now, when I, I said that filmmakers would have Raj Kapoor Sahib's shift, Raj Kapoor Sahib's film was very good in the film. See, this, might, this may look as a small little thing, but then you had 300 people on no, the just, set. These were just ancillary. 500 people on the set, you know, I'm, I'm shooting a song sequence in the day and a night sequence or action. So I asked my assistant and one of the films, he asked count, he said, sir, 1,000. So why 1,000 people within 24 hours? So 1,000 people will do good food, then they will give good work. आप दोगे उनको प्रॉपर ब्रीफ हो गई जो डायरेक्शन डिपार्टमेंट है उनको सो एवरीथिंग इज लाइक अ ब्रीफ एवरीथिंग हैज टू वर्क यू नो वो सर कुछ हंस रहे हैं आप कुछ बोलना चाहते हैं सर ऊपर आके बोलेंगे अच्छा ओके सो 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 दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग दैट बाकी कुछ बहुत चीजें बदली हैं बदलनी चाहिए भी द काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट दैट इज कमिंग एज अ कंटेंट हमने सोचा नहीं था अभी पीछे एक एक सीरीज आई है मैं उसका नाम भूल गया हूँ उसमें जो सीन बाद में आना है वो पहले आता है कौन सी सीरीज है वो मैंने आपको बहुत ज़्यादा वो इट्स बिकम मतलब वो यू यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स समथिंग हैपनिंग नॉन लीनियर तो समझ में आता है कि पहले हुआ था नॉन लीनियर बट ये बाद में कुछ होगा वी सॉ दैट that's what I say. The problem is that, you know, experimenting with cinema is great. You know, it's great. You know, great things being born out of experiments. And that's not cinema, that's everywhere in the world. Every invention, everything has been with with the experiment. But people are taking it a bit too far. Because I sometimes I fail to understand where the film has started from, where is it finishing, which scene is going, where how my mind goes. Also because the pressure of that, pressure of the Friday box office is not there. No, 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 it's not the pressure of the, I'm sorry, it is, I'm sorry using a harsh word. No, no. It is the stupidity of the director. That's all I can say. Because the entire, an entire film belongs to a director. It is completely, the medium is the director's. He runs the show, he is the showrunner. He decides on what is to be projected in what manner, right? We're talking about actors, you know, being, I mean, late and all this. And again, today, I think there are some directors who are actually putting the put down. Kisi actor ki, if the himad nahi hai ki director bole, at the time, they will come on time, they will come on time. Because directors don't do it. You see, the problem is, I was asked at a meeting, somewhere I was addressing the audience. Somebody asked me, how do I, what do I do to get a break as a director? I said, I'll give you a simple way. Join up as a domestic servant with an actor. You know, pick up his children, take them to school, buy his vegetables. One day he'll say, and you know when I'm talking about this, one day he'll say, yeah, this is a good man here, he gets nice vegetables, my wife is very happy, let's make him the director. Is this the way films are made? This is not the way films are made. Last season, I wanted to say something before the questions, that anyway, with OTT and the content changing, the star system has been decimated. Content is king now. Yeah, so we'll love to hear from you any, any, any other
to both of the Rahul. I'm Atar Bingya from Eastern Journal. So basically I'm a journalist and I'm not so much into movies but yet I would like to shoot a question and my question would be these days in most of the time we can see the objectification of female artists. Uh, for instance the sensational dance of Nora in the film. Uh, is sensational part of your Content that would I, I would like to ask you that because uh, I would say again the uh, women artists are always being you know uh, objectified and it's sometimes you know uh, so beside that what would you like to uh, uh, give some tips and advice to the director and filmmakers of Arunachal Pradesh in particular? Thank you. I think uh, uh, what I'd really like to say is uh, that uh, I think it's a terrible thing to want to sensationalize the woman. Why should you do that? Treat the woman exactly as you would like a man. And uh, sensationalism is one thing which uh, people do it, but <coughs> there are different kinds of sensationalism. You know, it doesn't have to be... I, I get what you mean by that, you know, but it doesn't have to be that way. And uh, times are changing a lot. People are now uh, changing on that. And uh, we, we hope that it's not only sensitive. You, are, you will have to sensationalize things for any story to be told. But you don't have to sensationalize a woman or a character or you know, a particular person. You sensationalize the times in which you're making them. That's important. really committed and 
I, I think they make wonderful groups of them. Great. Anyone else? Yeah, can, have, can you pass the mic there? First of all, good afternoon to board of the Rahul sir. Uh, I'm Takadra and uh, I'm currently doing Masters in Mass Communication, RGU, Rajiv Gandhi University. Uh, my question is for uh, Ravel sir. I see a bag of uh, actually luggages of experience. <coughs> uh, my question is that uh, as India is one of the largest print producer in the world with uh, across uh, approach uh, 2000s a year, my question is that uh, uh, when we see the golden era of cinema, uh, there we find uh, there uh, we have genuine ideas uh, for films. I mean, for scriptwriters writing and all. And when we see the contemporary uh, scenario of Bollywood now, all we can see is that uh, the remakes, the remakes of South Indian movies. I mean, industry uh, is that uh, we are lagging behind uh, uh, writers like uh, Raj Kapoor sir, uh, Salim. Uh, Khan sir or Javed uh, Akhtar sir, are we lagging or our Bollywood uh, writers are becoming lazy sir? Okay. Uh, uh, firstly, uh, I don't like this word Bollywood. You know, Hollywood is just a small suburb in uh, uh, Los Angeles. So it's not, I'm not taking offense to that. I agree with you that they're not paying as much attention as they should. But why are we looking at only Hindi films? Indian cinema is not only Hindi films. In fact, the Hindi film producers need to learn a lot. Today you said that they're picking up films made from the South Indian films. So what is special that the South Indian is doing? He's a in Indian, he's a filmmaker. So is the Hindi film people who are really picking up things from here and there. And I've been uh, seeing a lot of uh, different language films. I've been on the jury for the National Awards and all this. And uh, I think um, Hindi films as at its lowest ebb. If I go and say, I mean, I, I've seen a film which came from Lakshadweep. It was in a language which is spoken by only 48,000 people in the world. And I saw a film it won a National Award also. It was brilliant. It would give the Hindi film producers a run for their money. And uh, that, I think, is the reason. I think the, the Hindi film producers need to grow up. And they are. There's some who are doing very good work. And I think this revolution will come more with actors picking up the right kind of stories. See, actors, to me, are basically an, an insecure lot of people. They want to work in a film because this film was made in Hindi and was successful, so it's safer for me to do it. They're also wrong. They need to get out of that, and we need to make much better films. So if the uh, Orian, uh, Oriya film industry, or the Tamil industry, or uh, the Kashmiri film industry, the Punjabi film industry can make very good films, why can't we make them in Hindi? Yeah, well, thank you, sir. Barak at the back. Um, first of all, a uh, very good morning to you, sir. I'm uh, Nabam Yeni. I am working currently as a psychologist. Um, so I did not know that this uh, amazing program is going on. I read about, uh, uh, sorry, I saw the update in the Facebook when I was actually counseling a patient in a, a cafe because she preferred to take the counseling session outside the hospital. So I made sure I took a note of it and I, I thought that, of, of course, after the session, I'll definitely come and be a part of this program. First of all, I was very excited. I don't have any question. I'm just expressing my excitement and enthusiasm and so glad 
I feel so blessed and so glad to see people from Indian film industry, so uh, respectable, honorable, and senior persons, um, Rahul Dravel sir, Rahul Mitra, and Ranveer Kapoor sir. आप लोगों के बारे में हम लोग सिर्फ सुनते थे और सिर्फ सुनते ही थे स्क्रीन में दिखता था directed by Rahul Dravel, directed by Rahul Mitra, और actors को हम स्क्रीन में देखते हैं. तो आज आप हमारे सामने साक्षात हैं तो आई वाज लाइक जल्दी सेशन रैप अप करना है और यहाँ पे आना है और मैं पहुँच गई थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर कमिंग हियर थैंक यू सो मच यू बट लेट मी पुट इट द अदर वे राउंड आई थिंक वी आई आई एम टॉकिंग फॉर राहुल यू आल्सो आई थिंक वी आर मोर ब्लेस्ड टू हैव अ वंडरफुल ऑडियंस so it's i think uh, we are really blessed i i am blessed to have people like you around the world and yes kisi ne yahan pe ek sawal pucha tha sensationalizing or objectifying female i think uh, as a viewer as an audience when we watch a film i see uh, just sharing i see the movie from a uh, perspective of uh, uh, someone who would like to see it psychologically or uh, therapeutically for me i think everything you see on screen the filmmakers they have put on so much energy and passion and time and their knowledge and energy that put together it becomes very therapeutic when we watch it we can learn a lot of things and in just this moving image we get to know the uh, situation what is going on right now logo ki zindagi mein abhi currently kya ho raha hai after i think uh, i know you so this is my view point up uh, therapeutically we dekh sakte hain i don't think ki wo objectifying hai uh, as an artist suppose i am a fan of nora fatehi dilruba is a very famous song so she is there as an artist dancing and enjoying so that uh, uh, the whole sequence is a part of the movie i think right. so it doesn't uh, मैंने जिस अपना व्यू पॉइंट दिया क्योंकि मुझे थोड़ा सा वो लगा तो बस ऐसे थैंक यू वेरी मच नेपोटिज्म And sir, I would. I my question is just that, sir. How did you come up with grassroots steps when you became a director? And it also says in Wikipedia that in absence of any godfather. So if I do want to become a director, I don't have a godfather yet. So grassroots yeah. steps. Sir. Uh, well, I'm a producer, not a director. But anyways, but I'm I'm seen as uh, quite a creative producer. I believe. कोशिश होती है कि हर डिपार्टमेंट में मैं किसी ना किसी तरीके से कंट्रीब्यूट करूं। वेल इसका तो थैंक्स फॉर गोइंग थ्रू माय विकिपीडिया पेज एंड दैट दैट टाइम फिल्म बीइंग शॉट ओवरसीज एंड एसेंशियली फॉर द एनआरए मार्केट What is branding or what? It's the art, art of differentiation. I have a, I have a goal. I have said that I will make anything. I was clear that I will make a film that should be clear that I will make a film that should be either. Now, there are many words like disruptive content, compelling content, or whatever. I was thinking that we should use hot, hot, trendy. I use many other words, but I wanted a film which would. Um, इंगेज ऑडियंस जैसे अर्जुन इन्होंने कहा राहुल जी ने उस समय पे आई तो हम लोग भी जब देखे थे अर्जुन माय गॉड व्हाट वाज दैट तो अगर हम लोगों को कंपेल कर सकते हैं कुछ कंटेंट देखने के लिए दे कैन बी इंगेज विद द डायलॉग्स विद द स्टोरी विद द कैरेक्टर्स देन द जॉब वाज डन सो आई वाज वेरी क्लियर ऑन दैट दैट्स नंबर 1 और लोगों ने डराने की बहुत कोशिश करी ऐसा होगा ये होगा लूट जाओगे बर्बाद हो जाओगे मैं ये नहीं कहा मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि मैं बर्बाद नहीं हुआ लेकिन बर्बाद होके और फिर आबाद होना है आई थिंक दैट इज द ट्राइव ऑफ द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट इज इट इट दैट्स व्हाट वी ऑल डू और इसको तो मैं बेस्ट ये बयान करना चाहता हूँ कि 
सुना है समंदर को बहुत गुमान आया है सुना है समंदर को बहुत गुमान आया है उधर ही ले चलो कश्ती जिधर तूफान आया है yes. और कश्ती को बस तूफान के अंदर लेता गया वन रिस्क आफ्टर अनदर यू नो केम विद जिंदगी भर की पूंजी पचास लाख एक करोड़ रुपए लेके मैं बहुत गया फिल्म बनाने खैर उतने में नहीं बने ही ज्यादा मैं थोड़ी बनी और तीन साल के बाद मैं चालीस करोड़ की फिल्म बना रहा था बुलेट वाला सो आई थिंक भगवान ने ये हिम्मत दी मुझे करने के लिए एंड uh, जो मैंने पहला शेयर पढ़ा था उसके बाद मैं ये कहूँगा बस इतनी सी बात समंदर को खल गई कि कागज की नाव मुझ पर कैसे चल गई Hello, Jeff. This is a counter answer to Miss uh, Yani, who is a uh, psychologist. Okay, you are looking at the you. You have your own perspective, and you are looking uh, through making a psychoanalysis. And I'm making a critical analysis. You give a picture of an elephant to ten different people. Everyone is going to give you a different perspective. Maybe they are going to say the eyes are small or everything. So I was talking in a critical. I was making a critical analysis. I was not making a psychoanalysis. Thank you for the question and your counter thing. Was well, I mean that's okay. if we start that we never we never never gonna end. So yeah. So uh, yeah, it depends on how you look at the film. Uh, you know the kind of levels that you have, the kind of understanding that you have. So. Next time I would want the journalist and the psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we'll, we'll take the final question from the one at the end. Yeah, we'll have the last question. We'll wrap up. Uh, hello. Um, good morning to all. Good morning to our honorable guests. My name is Dadar Gay, and I'm a student of mass communication and journalism in RGU. So my question to this sir is uh, the Bollywood, as you said, the Hindi film industry is very influential, especially in India. It like mediates more than eighty percent of our population, and then uh, most of so it doesn't really give chances to the regional uh, movies uh, or films because even if the regional movies make a good film, they are copied and like commercialized in the Hindi uh, like uh, field. So I just want to say that it is undeniable that Bollywood has its hegemony in the Indian movie making market. So what should we, especially the regional uh, film industry, should do to tackle it, so that we are motivated to make more films? All right, uh, ma'am. Uh, I would. Uh, uh, I would probably disagree with you on one, just one thing is that uh, uh, let's not differentiate between. Bollywood and regional cinema. There is no regional cinema. We are all doing Indian cinema. Like I said earlier, uh, people from the Indian film industry need to pull up their socks because what we are seeing from regional cinema is absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff. The way which you can fight back is keep making. Better and better and better films, as that inspires even the Indian Hindi film industry to make better films. You know this plagiarism, and it's not plagiarism anymore. Somebody buys the rights of another film, makes it, or somebody gets inspired and makes it. That will keep happening. But you keep making better films in all the languages. Will always find its way. Always will find its way. Unbelievable. Like sir was saying, I film in Pondicherry. I say Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep. I was surprised when I saw it. So it's about the content that you have. You know, a, a language which is not understood by people, but the content was so strong. Yeah. Yeah. And um, see, they all had proper source content. Even Pushpa, though the songs may be great and stuff like that, it's the social content in Pushpa which makes a big difference. And uh, you know, I, I I just hope that all the languages keep flourishing in India, and we come out with the strongest, diverse film industry in the world. 
we do have, in any case, quantum wise, we have the largest. But I would love to see India as having the quality which is unparalleled anywhere in the world. And we can do it. We'll have the last one. I cannot deny because these are anchor. <laughs> so yes, one question. So I, I can't just, deny. One small question because uh, uh, Ravel sir, you just said that you wish that uh, we have uh, films in different languages throughout India and different languages will flourish. So I actually have this. Um, um, uh, what I'll first tell you that what I hope you are aware that in Arunachal Pradesh we speak Hindi because we have many tribes, more than 26 tribes, and then we don't have a common language. Each tribe has a different language. So a recent trend that has been starting in our state is that filmmakers are making movies in the Pigeon Hindi that we speak in the state. So uh, commercially, when we think about it, that makes sense because if you make uh, the film in the uh, Hindi that everyone speaks, people relate to it and it reaches to a larger audience. But then again, if we think the, the role of a film as a marker of history or as to promote and preserve our culture, then it's not playing the role. Then we need to make films in our own language. So it's a question to both of you, sir. What would you think? Like, what should we do? Because uh, Mitra, sir, uh, you have given wages, equal wages to both creativity as well as to uh, commercial aspect of filmmaking. So, and film as an industry is very new in Arunachal Pradesh. So to flourish, what do you think, what is your opinion that the filmmakers should be doing in our state? Uh, make the film in, in any language, whether it is Hindi or your original languages, which tells your story the best way. You know, in which you see, the language which is predominant for any human being, I may be wrong, but I've been brought up with this. I, I feel that it's a language in which you think. And when that is clear, is when everything falls clear. So make it in the language you're comfortable with. Don't be, you know, uh, bogged down Be it has to be Hindi or it has to be in X, Y, or Z language. Because I'm from Indian. No, you, you're an Indian. Make it your way. Make it the way which you think is the right way to do. That's what I think. Um, see, uh, uh, last night, uh, Imtiaz and I and CM Sir, we, we were all having dinner together and this is what we were discussing. See, I'm, I'm on the lookout for stories. So, similarly, that is it. Or jis bhasha mein bolna chahte, us bhasha mein bolie. But like I said, it अब क्या content है लोगों को क्या पसंद आता है और अरुणाचल की बात करते हैं there are so many things you know there are so many interesting facts I was discussing yesterday that uh, there is a tribe here which and यहाँ पे ऐसी मान्यता है कि uh, tiger भाई है right you know about this right I mean what a wonderful thing so why can't I make a film called बड़े भाई <laughs> You know, I might end up making one. Why not? So why not? कि मैं भाई को मिलने जा रहा हूँ और वो कहाँ पे और कुछ भाई और अंदर मैं घुस शॉर्ट फिल्म तो बना ही दूँगा मैं। Please don't, please don't steal this idea क्योंकि ये मेरा हो चुका है। And I'm going to be presenting this to the Honourable Environment Minister tomorrow. हाँ जी। Okay. So and like this. I'm saying, ab kuch atrangi. Why can't it be a story on a serial killer? For all you know. Great, great. You know, so thank you, Rahul for rocking my story. Anyway, so uh, yeah, he's got trademark. I just call my office. Right? So is tarangi serial killer ho sakta hai? Why? Or uske baad wo comic space mein bhi ho sakta hai? Kuch ho sakta hai? There is anything. So try out different. Likho, socho. और एक्शन कर एक्शन लो यू नो परों को खोल जमाना उड़ान देखता है अपने परों को खोलो जमीन पे बैठा क्या आसमान देखता है तो उड़ान लीजिए सब लोग दैट इज इट और कुछ नहीं थैंक यू वेरी मच आई थिंक द द वेरी पर्पस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस कोर्स दैट दैट वी हैव डिसाइडेड इज टू लाइक लाइक वी से इन एकेडमिक्स इट्स मोर ऑफ अ थ्योरेटिकल पार्ट दैट वी विल डू नाउ बट ऑब्वियसली वी हैव
uh, you know, put for the uh, you know, good part for the rest. After the lunch break, we'll be having a Diaz Ali. So we'll be learning more of the craft, how we do it, how you know, a lot of, lot of uh, his personal anecdote stories. And we'll also learn uh, in, 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 in kind of a workshop that we're going to do uh, with Diaz Ali in the evening. So thank you uh, very much, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for being here with us. Uh, special round of applause for both Rahul. And, uh, and we should thank Rahul, Rahul especially for giving us, uh, you know, uh, Sunny Dool, then the, uh, Amrita Singh, Kajol, and Aswira Rai for us. Thank you very much. Okay, with this, we came to the end. Uh, I think I'll, I'll hand over the mic to uh, Nemeth. Have you all seen the uh, the, uh, the, the film? Have you seen that film on Arunachal? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, I hope you know that's me in the film. Because there is a series on Geo series uh, which Randeep Buddha is playing and I'm the villain. So that's what it's, called. it's called Inspector Arunachal, so you'll soon see me as an actor. Thank you so much, sir. Hope we will soon be uh, watching the uh, release of Bade Bhai very soon. <laughs> and you cast actors from our state. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. With this, we have come to the end of our first session. So, but before you leave the state, we would like to give you a small token of appreciation and love. And we have the students from Department of Mass Communication, RGU, to do the honor. We have small gifts for both of you. Thank you so much.